Hello there YouTube, welcome to part 2 of the fire spreading fire propagation system tutorial in Unreal Engine 4. Um, so today what I'm going to bring you is decals. Now decals are pretty sweet. Um, you can use them to apply all kinds of different looks and feels to your game. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate what a decal is right here. So over here in the... Uh, I forget what this window is called over here. I've been away from this for a while. But anyway, over here in visual effects you can see we have a deferred decal here. And if I drag that out and change the material on it to this material I've created here, you can see that we get this really, really shit looking burnt patch. I know it looks terrible, but that is supposed to be a burnt patch. I am not a graphics designer, I'm a programmer, so whenever I try and do anything designy, it always looks terrible. But what we're going to do is we're basically going to have this burnt patch here spawn underneath the actors that are on fire. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And first of all, I'm going to show you what that is. It's... Um, basically this shape here drawn in photoshop it looks terrible but if you can design a better one send it my way um, because i would love that and i can't draw for sugar so that's basically what that is it's a translucent um it's a picture basically of this burnt patch in the middle and it fades out towards the edge to give you this kind of this is the concentrated area of the burn and this is the weaker areas affected of the burn so bringing this into unreal engine that um, that there, that texture is just a PNG, so I just imported it, um, and I'll show you how to do that. So over here on my desktop, you can see I have the image here, and all I did is just drag it into Unreal Engine. Um, it may, yeah, there you go. You get this little add icon, and that is it. Imported for me, it says re-imported because I already have it. For you, it will import that texture. Now, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and turn this into a material. So you right-click on that and create a material from it, and we're going to name this burnt decal now there's a few things you need to do inside here and i'll show you the effect they have so i'm going to split screen this here if i can there we go so if i were to drop a decal on the ground here and put this burnt decal material on as it is you'll see it does absolutely nothing so we need to change a few things over here first of all with the decal selected it needs to become a deferred decal over here under material. I'll full screen this now. So where it was surface, it now needs to become a deferred decal. And the blend mode needs to become translucent, I think it was. And then we have to hook up this texture sample here to the opacity. And that will give us this weird looking thing here. But when we save that, come on. And head on back in here now you can see that this burnt decal now looks a little better than a black square so that is it's, it's a very very simple material it's just a crappy drawing hooked up to this uh, and that's your material anyway i'm not here to talk about materials on this tutorial we're here about burning stuff so let's go ahead and burn that ground underneath those bushes i'm going to remove this from the world and what i'm going to do is jump into the blueprint for the fire cubes here, even though they're still bushes, but I'm going to continue to call them fire cubes. So I'll remove this, and if you remember from yesterday or the previous tutorial in part one, this is what we constructed, and this was to spawn the fire and spread it between other fire cubes. Now we can very simply spawn this decal, and what I'm going to do is after the fire has gone on, um, I'm going to add a delay. Now, I'll explain the reason for this delay in a second. Once I've done the delay, I want to spawn a decal at location. And the location will be the get actor location. So it's going to get the actor location of the burning fire cube, and it's going to spawn a decal there. And we're going to use that burnt material decal that we just made. And that's all good. The decal size is a bit of a curious one. Now... If I drop another decal in here, you'll see that this decal's size, oops, that's not helpful. The size of this decal here is 111. Actually, sorry, that's its scale. I see where I've gone wrong. You see, earlier I was setting this to 111 and it was doing nothing. Actually, I needed to set it to something like 500. So you may want to play around with these figures in your game and set these up 
um, the way you want. So it's going to take a bit of playing with. Try with some higher numbers and shrink down. I found myself really puzzled at the low numbers thinking, oh, it's not spawning. When actually it was, it was just really minuscule. So you're going to want to start at those higher numbers with that one. And after that, we simply jump back into the rest of the loop. So all we've done here is just make a little breakaway and have this delay and then spawn a decal. That's it. That's all we need to do. Now the reason for this delay is if we take a look at the um, my where is it going to be particles of fire. If we take a look at the fire thing here and restart that you'll see it takes a second to flare up or half a second or so. So the reason I don't spawn the decal immediately is because as soon as that decal spawns, this thing hasn't really grown to a full flame yet. So by delaying it just for a moment, it gives it a little bit of a better look. So I'll probably even delay it a little bit more. And I'm now going to fire that off and show you what we've created in that very quick video there. So we'll fire this up. And whenever you're ready, you'll see now we start to get these burnt patches on the ground underneath the fire and they do look a little bit cheesy they do look a little bit tacky um, I can explain the reason the fire's gone off <laughs> that was because I was testing something and forgot to remove it so I'm just going to remove that real quick not very professional but oh well forgive me I fire this back up again and take another look at the totally unreal fire system Woo! bit excited for some pixels there so yeah you can see the decals now spawning on the ground giving it a bit more of a burnt look now if you had a really really good looking decal this would look amazing so please excuse that it looks it doesn't look great the point of this is to show you how it works and how to do it the actual graphics and designs you know that that can come at a later stage but the principle of burning the ground underneath the fire is applied there you see we have these crazy cracks woo so yeah that's that's it for this video it's gonna be a very very simple one and that is how you spawn a decal at a location in this case underneath the fire in the next series in the next tutorial I'm gonna go on to um, probably fading this thing in so if it could grow if it could start as a small decal underneath the fire and as the fire burns for longer this decal could gradually grow and the burn area could grow and then what I'm also gonna do after that is work on interacting spreading the flame with the expansion of the decal so as the decal expands here and touches the second bush then the bush will set on fire so it's going to get quite complicated but these are all the base foundations of this system um, and as you can see it gives it a little bit of a, a better effect so let's stop this and play it in the game and just see how it looks so I'm running around in the game and these bushes start to set on fire and the ground's getting black and it's burning I mean, you could even incorporate some easy to implement damage system on this so that if you step on these grounds, you know, you get burnt and it hurts you. That would be fairly easy to implement. And in fact, we may even make a tutorial on that. Boom. There you go. Another video. So that's it for this one, guys. Very, very quick one. Easy to build. Easy to spawn those decals. As I said, it's just those little components there. And we're going to slot them in right after we have spawned the fire particle system um, into the sorry right after we've set the template on the particle system component that's when we spawn that decal so that's it for this video guys i hope you've enjoyed this one um please do stay tuned for part three when we expand those decals and we make this a little bit more intense and a little bit more dynamic as always guys please subscribe to the channel leave a comment and let me know what you liked about this video what you didn't like give us a thumbs up and i will see you on the next video good night oh i can't turn it off